Hello, my name is Ian Tyndale. Welcome to Our Robot Future. This episode, morning is broken. Now we don't treat mornings correctly. The morning sets the initial condition of the day and the rest of the day simply takes that input and runs your strategy or continual process. The outcome is governed partly by the initial conditions and partly by the choice of process. The initial conditions can provide advantage, or not, that no amount of strategic process can realistically build towards if the potential isn't already there. The anatomy of a morning is something that we all take for granted because we're rarely fully conscious during it. We're still arriving into the day. It's early, we're often in a hurry, especially for those in jobs or who study, and we default to automatic routine and unconscious habit more than conscious awareness would allow. Before we know it, morning has gone. The conscious use of a morning goes further than simply getting up early. Although by definition if you get up late enough you can even miss the morning entirely. It has to do with how much of your morning is automatic and how much of it interfaces with the rest of the world. Behaving like a robot in the morning comes naturally to most of us as we're not fully woken up and society and culture tells us that we won't be awake, often accompanied with some sentiment about not having had a coffee yet. So we behave accordingly and remain zombified until coffee and then wake up. That's the script. How many of us are really not in a position to talk or be with anyone else first thing in the morning? Our interaction with the rest of the world sets the pace, almost quite literally, as the clock or rhythm of the town or city is established by the stop-start, wait-go synchronism of each other's Brownian motion-like juggling or positioning. Out in the street, people wait at the crossing for the man to go green. Several queues of vehicles stop as a result. Pedestrians go, then cars go, and pedestrians stop. Now who breaks this rhythm and who obeys it? The ones who break it risk danger, but also perhaps risk not being in sync with the established beat of the morning that is in common to everyone else in the city. As the morning progresses, opportunities arrive and are exposed or occluded. Who gets to see them, recognise them and act upon them? Those people on autopilot probably aren't. They're not looking for exception cases, simply riding along on the waves. Those who are fully conscious and alert are probably using up too much energy too early in the day. We should study how the dynamics of how mornings work. We could then become aware of optimizations and advantages in behavioural starting points. It really is very much like a Fibonacci or Lucas series. The initial conditions set up the available range of opportunity. Then the continuous process of strategy simply runs a behaviour using the initial conditions as the input. Of course to get up early in a sensible state as opposed to an automatic robot, we should respect the importance of mornings by getting to bed early enough. Now, this is the difficulty that most of us face. There's no particular deadline which, after missing it, we can no longer go to bed. We can always just wedge in another little thing to check, to read, to play, to watch, to consume, to generate, or to drink. Consequently, the early morning becomes ever more stupefying and automatic out of exhaustion. I hope you've enjoyed Morning is Broken. My name is Ian Tyndale. This has been Our Robot Future. Thank you. Goodbye.